Today's tutorial is going to take you through using the Adobe Draw app to create your empty gratitude jar doodle drawing. So the first thing you'll need to do is go ahead and open your Adobe Draw app. You're going to choose to start a new project. So at the bottom right, you'll see an orange plus sign. You're gonna choose the letter or portrait format eight and a half by 11. That's the same shape as the jar image you should have saved to your camera roll. Once inside the app, you'll notice your brushes are on the left-hand side and your layers are on the right-hand side. We're gonna start by pulling in that drawing, um, that image to create our drawing. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus sign and grab image layer and I'm going to choose a photo that is on my iPad. So on my iPad, I have saved that jar drawing. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch out to make it as big as I can to fit on our page. Okay, make sure it's centered. Hit done in the upper right-hand corner and you're almost ready to start drawing. You're gonna go ahead and take the image layer. You're gonna hold and drag it below the draw layer. This means that everything we draw is going to sit on top of the image um, so that we can see it. If it was reversed, our drawing would actually be behind it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I highlight the draw layer so you can see um, it's highlighted with orange and I'm going to choose a brush. For this project, everyone is going to use a black ink um, to kind of keep in line with this pen and ink style doodle drawing. I'm going to go ahead and select the first brush and I want it to just be a basic round brush. I can double click and you can see some more options come up. So the size of the brush, the opacity of the brush, meaning whether or not it's solid or transparent, and obviously the color. So for size, believe it or not, for this project, we actually need it to be pretty small. I'm going to suggest about two, which I know looks really, really tiny, um, but you'll see why in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and use my two fingers again to pinch to zoom in. I'm gonna start drawing in the upper left-hand corner of my jar. While you're working on this, you should be referring back to that list that you generated for ideas. Um, pull from things that you already listed that you're grateful for um, to get going. So if I'm going to start drawing, I picked two and you'll see why in a second. So you can see that this brush is a pretty good size for this doodle. I could go a little bit larger, but I would say four is the max. If I go really large, like a nine, you'll see that we're not gonna be able to fit that many doodles in if our um, actual brush is that large. So to go ahead and get rid of that stuff that I just did, I have two options. I could either double click or click and hold, excuse me, on that draw layer and I could just delete it and start a new draw layer. Or I could come back over to the left-hand side I could go back to the brushes and choose the checkerboard and use the eraser to erase what I did. So now I'm gonna go back to my brush, double click, I'm gonna take it down maybe about like three, zoom in again and start some doodles. So one thing I feel super grateful for um, is the sunshine we've been having lately. So maybe I'm gonna go ahead and create A ray of sunshine. Now I'm just going to do this really quickly. Okay, so let's say I'm going to move on and I am super grateful for pizza. Love pizza, especially pepperoni. I'm gonna get my pepperoni on there. 
Now, you can zoom in as close as you'd like, and you'll see that as you zoom in, um, your brush size looks even bigger. So if I were to do little details like some texture on the pepperoni, I would go ahead and shrink my brush again. So just like anything when you zoom in, the chances are you're going to have to shrink it down a bit um, so that it's just not too large. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and you know, add some detail. My stylus is a little bit of a delay right now, but that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna zoom out and I'm just gonna continue to move around. So what I might decide to do is I might make all of my grateful images on one layer donut and then I might decide to do a new draw layer and fill in some empty space. So maybe I'll just add some details to kind of just fill in that space um, so that it really becomes a full drawing. Um, so that it feels really complete. But that is what I would do at the end after I have all of my individual doodles done. So that's how you get started here. Um, you can close out the app and take breaks whenever you want. It automatically saves. And when you're done, you're gonna want to choose the upper right hand um, square with the arrow. And you're gonna save this image. You're gonna share it to your camera roll. So save image and you will have a nice, clean image. Um, you don't wanna screenshot it, you wanna make sure that you save a clean copy of it when you are completely done.